Hey guys, I'm Sonika. In today's photography tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can engage in inspirograph photography and make such beautiful patterns using light painting. Whoa! Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I'm on YouTube. Thank you. Things you will need a DSLR with any wide lens, light. You can use a torch or such laser lights like I have. Whatever is your light source, you need to make sure that only a tiny beam of light comes out of it. To make sure that happens, I'm gonna tie some black chart paper all over my light and poke a small hole through it using a pin or needle. The light that comes out of your light source should be very tiny. Next, I'm gonna need some strong thread or wool to hang my light from the ceiling. To make sure it is fixed properly, I'm gonna use cello tape and scissors because I don't want my light to fall directly into my lens. Mm. That's why. That's all you will need. Now here is my laser light which I have covered with black chart paper and poked a small hole through it. I have tied some wool to my torch. You need to make sure that the wool is tied right at the center of the torch. Exact center. I'm gonna hang it now. I'm gonna hang it to a table top. You can hang it anywhere guys. You can use the ceiling, table top, fan, wherever you hang your light. Just make sure that it is fixed properly with lots of cello tape because you don't want it to fall. I turn it on and just look at it, a tiny beam of light falling out. I'll turn it off for now. The settings. I'm going to use the manual mode. Aperture is f6.3, ISO 100. Now shutter speed can be 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds or you can even use the bulb mode of your camera. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use 10 seconds. I'm going to place my camera on the floor directly beneath my light source. A tiny beam of light should fall right in the middle of my lens. I'm going to need one more thing, darkness. I need to make sure my room is pitch dark. So I'm going to shut my doors, windows, draw the curtains, turn off the lights of my room as well as any adjacent room. It should be pitch dark. Once I get my room pitch dark, I'm gonna switch to the live mode of my camera, focus on the tiny beam of light, come out of the live mode, set my focus to manual and my shutter speed to 10 seconds. Now it's time to move the light. You need to make sure that your light moves in perfect spirals. You don't want it to move in such a wishy way, in a straight way that it does not give you any pattern like this. So, in order to make it move in a spiral, you need to move it in an angle. Best is to move it at a 90 degree angle from yourself and not straight. So, I move it in an angle from myself. Is it moving in spirals? No. Try again. 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 No. Again. After 394 attempts. Finally, my light is moving in a spiral. So I'm gonna press the shutter release button. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ta da! You can try out different patterns guys for moving your light in different types of angles and spirals and you can increase your shutter speed to 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds or even use the bulb mode of your camera. But if you are switching to the bulb mode, it is better to have a remote with you. Uh, you can use lights of different colors. Now I have this 3-in-1 laser light that has white, purple and red colors. But if you don't have so many colors, we have one color torch. So you can cover your torch in particular color paper. So the light that comes out of it will be in the color of the paper. You can try that. Now how to achieve different color patterns in camera. 
you can move one light in spirals once you are done with a spiral you can cover your lens with a black chart paper or cardboard change the light move the second light in spirals lift the paper capture the exposure and that's it you can even combine these different patterns in photoshop let me show you how here i have my image of the spirograph which i have clicked and here is another one with a smaller pattern different pattern which i want to combine so let's do that first i'm going to edit my spirographs individually using the raw camera filter the first thing i'm going to do is go to lens correction remove chromatic aberration enable lens correction then back to the basic tab the first thing i'm going to do is reduce these highlights because i think my spirograph is a little too bright so i'm going to press down the alt key and reduce my highlights not too much or else it becomes little too dull little bit now normally i add the shadows to my image now in this case if i start adding shadows the table and the wall behind my spirograph starts coming into view so in this case i have to reduce my shadows adjust my whites and blacks Mm, I think the exposure is fine. If I increase it a bit, maybe and contrast. Yes, I have to increase that and increase my clarity. Uh, next, I'm going to go to my curves and just make the background a little darker, a little more black, so that my spirograph stands out. That's it. Okay, I can open it. Now it's time to edit the second spirograph. In the same way, I'm going to use the raw camera filter, lens correction, enable lens correction, remove chromatic aberration, reduce my highlights by pressing down the alt key, reducing my shadows, increasing contrast, adjusting whites and blacks, clarity. little bit of exposure yes now i go to my curves and make the background a little darker that's it now i'm going to drag my second spirograph to my first control t to free transform it make it smaller you can adjust it in any way guys i'm going to change my blend mode to screen and adjust it you can adjust it in any way guys you can play with your patterns and shapes the way you want it now both my spirographs are in the same color so i'm going to change the color of any one spirograph uh, i'm going to click on this ball icon on the layers panel and go to hue saturation colorize and create a clipping mask by pressing this small button and i can choose any color guys there are so many colors here violet green pink i'm going to go with red you can go with any colors guys you can choose any one of them and that's it still adjusting it a bit so that it looks like a little eye in between my spirograph now i'm going to crop my image into a square so i'm going to use the crop option and here i'm going to select one is to one I'm going to position my image the way I want it. I'm, I want to keep the eye at the exact center. Little more space below. Yes. Crop. Now I can see I have a little blank space below. So I'm going to create a new layer. Take it down. Fill it by clicking the shift f5 option the fill menu comes up and i'm going to select the foreground color which is black okay and that's it my image is ready 
So guys, this is a very fun light painting photography project that you can try at home all alone. You don't need much help for spirograph photography, but it is going to take time. You're not going to get it right during your first shoot. These are the images that I clicked during my first shoot. Totally crap. Even after practicing for weeks, I'm not able to do it 100% right. So it's going to take time for you to develop a flair for light painting photography but keep practicing and keep clicking. And if you guys found this video to be useful, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below about if you would like to try this technique or if you've tried this technique, uh, what were your results. If you want, you can tag me in your pictures on Instagram at Agarwal Sonika. I will be very happy to have a look at your images guys. Please give it a try. It's a fairly simple technique which you can do at home. It's just a little time consuming and you need to concentrate. And guys, uh, share this video with your friends if you want to try this technique with them. Uh, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon for new photography tutorials every Wednesday guys. Thank you so much for watching. Here is my previous photography tutorial. I hope you find that useful too. Please stay on my channel every Wednesday for new tutorials. Bye!